I now understand why your counsel tries to control your pleasure as well as your anger. Pleasure is a far more powerful motivator. What good is having power if you can't enjoy how it feels? Power is only one of life's pleasures. I still remember the feel of sunlight on my skin. The scent of favorite foods. The color of my first love's eyes. To experience those simple pleasures again would be worth anything. The Emperor took all that away from you. Don't fool yourself into believing you can get it back. Perhaps. But there is satisfaction in having revenge. The Emperor will pay for what he took from me. I understand why your council controls you. What I'll never comprehend is why you let them. You have surprised me, Jedi. You have the heart of a Sith. Had you been born on Korriban, you would be sitting on the Dark Council now. It is too late to turn you fully from the light. But should your children have a connection to the Force, I will see them properly trained. A Sith Lord of my blood. It's an intriguing thought. He would have power such as the galaxy has never seen. It would be my greatest honor to train him. When I was first given this assignment, I believed it would be an excellent opportunity to serve the Republic. I underestimated. It has been the greatest honor of my life. The honor has been all mine, Sergeant Rusk. Thank you, Master Jedi. I promise you, I'll train the squad to be the most efficient fighting machine in the Republic, even the droid. I'm with you until the bitter end. Victory or death! If someone was going crazy, would you Jedi powers let you know? I don't need Jedi powers to see you've been avoiding me lately. I haven't avoided you at all. Believe me. Thing is, I've been thinking about someone. A lot. I can't get her out of my head. It's not normal. Sounds like you're developing real feelings for her. She must be special to you. Doc doesn't develop feelings. But she is... special. If I'm going crazy, I don't want to be the only one. You think she might feel the same way about me? She keeps coming back, despite her better instincts. That can only mean one thing. Normally I'd kiss you for talking like that. But I'm trying to do this right. There's a reason we never stopped with just one kiss. I keep waiting for this to get stale, and it keeps staying fresh. That's... weird. Sooner or later, you and me are gonna save this galaxy. Might be time to start... thinking about our reward. All right, you win. Here's the deal. I'm good-looking, smart, and charming. I'm a top-flight medical specialist who does charity work. I've completely stopped looking at other women, which should be physically impossible. Bottom line, I'm pretty sure I love you. The galaxy could end any second, but that's no excuse not to get married. Can't believe I just said that. In a strange twist of fate, it turns out you're the only person I can truly count on. I don't care what the Jedi Code says. I love you. And I want us to be together. Whew. For a second, I thought you were gonna say maybe. I'd have to ask you all over again later. Seeger! Get your shiny tail out here! It's a go! I am Ceremony, Gala, and Ritual Droid Designation CGR-80. You may call me Seeger. Shall we begin your joining? There's no time like the present. <laughs> I've been keeping Seeger on standby. Didn't want you getting cold feet and running for it. Please hold hands while I recite the terms of bonding. In all the galaxy, there is no greater force than true love. Love sustains, nourishes, and protects. Without love, the galaxy would be cold and empty. Your bond lends fire to the stars, dissolving the darkness. Do you take this man as your husband to cherish for the rest of your days? I do. Now and forever. Do you take this woman as your wife to honor in word and deed? Definitely and always. We married yet? May your love transcend time, distance, and all barriers between. The terms of bonding are complete. You may now kiss.
Seeker, be a good droid and deactivate yourself. We'll drop you off at the next stop. Please do. I'm scheduled to preside over a Rodian harvest festival in three days. Rodians expect punctuality. So there you have it. You and me. Together forever. I never imagined it happening like this. But now, I can't imagine it any other way. I don't know what that means, but it sounded good.